What you guys got another video here for you on choosing the right PC parts for your needs and your budget and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Now sometimes when I make videos I always get the odd uh, person critiquing about the parts you chose and things like that. Now obviously uh, they don't understand the whole um, choice process in those parts and of course there's many different ways you can uh, choose PC parts for the same sort of architecture. They'll probably come onto a site like this and go ahead and choose the same parts and then swap a few bits out and it does make a difference in price but there's reasons why you can't do that sometimes like for instance the build that I did which is this one here which is these bottom ones here they were sent in and I had to use them in the build so of course that will reflect on the price which was $812 and I think I paid a bit less than that because I've got the graphics card a bit cheaper and some other bits so let's go ahead and take a look this was the build I did and of course the power supply is a gold 750 watt um, power supplies which is quite a beefy power supply it wasn't uh, fully modular and of course I used the error call Cylon which I'd like that uh, case quite a bit at that sort of price now also went with the Sapphire Radeon uh, card here which was the uh, RX 590 8 gigabyte and the 8 data XPG SX 8200 Pro which was a one terabyte drive which is an NVMe drive which means it's super super fast now if you don't want RGB you can swap out this and get some non RGB RAM which will be cheaper and I'll show you that right now so let's go ahead and take a look at some minor changes that I did to the build because I could and of course there's no difference in the CPU the motherboard has changed to a micro ATX um, motherboard and of course we've gone with a cheaper price there compared to the previous one use the T uh, T force uh, Vulcans I couldn't get my words out there for the 3200 megahertz RAM and of course that's cheaper because it hasn't got RGB we swapped out that one terabyte NVMe drive to um, the SATA solid state drive which will be slower by quite a fair bit um, but as you can see here the price now drops and we went with the RX 590 8 gigabyte the same graphics card the same uh, case and I changed the power supply out for 700 watt 80 plus gold and you could trim that down even more if you wanted to but as you see here the changes in price structure is quite a bit it's 588 dollars so when you start messing with components you're not going to see much difference in performance apart from when you're using this drive if you was moving files around you'd see it super fast the reads and writes on this drive are within like say 3500 and 3000 something like that for the reads and writes whereas this system is going to be a lot slower but it will play the games exactly the same it won't make no difference and the processor is exactly the same uh, the RAM has changed there's no RGB on it and RGB doesn't make the RAM any faster it's just there for uh, pretty looks so basically uh, you're not going to see much difference and we're not talking about overclocking or any of that stuff we're just talking about general uh, computer use here and you're not going to see much difference in these apart from when you're doing stuff like moving files on around the drive and stuff and opening applications up you'll see it be a lot faster and snappier with the other one compared to this one but if you're okay with that then you can save yourself a few dollars so let's move on to a more uh, beefier system which is the more modern system which is the Ryzen 5 3600 now you may see uh, the warning here and that's because it thinks this motherboard might have a dodgy BIOS and it's already been flashed that's what the max version is it's been flashed ready for the latest generations so when you go through here we've gone for 3600 memory this time it's going to come in at a bit more of a cost we've also left the motherboard and we've gone with a different CPU we've gone down to the 480 gigabyte uh, solid state drive here so we'll lose a bit of on the drive we've gone up to the Radeon RX 5700 which is a bit of a beefy price but if you're a hardcore gamer that's what you're after you need that graphics card went with this case here and we went with a 700 watt EVGA power supply gold now when you look at the price here that's $893 you could probably trim this down a little bit but basically you are where it's at now the difference between this one which was 812 
and you can see the difference between this is not a lot but the problem is when you're specking stuff out if you are adamant that you don't want to spend any more than eight hundred dollars then it's going to be very very difficult to um, convince people sometimes to go that extra fifty or hundred dollars because it makes a massive difference you can see the difference here all we've done is just dropped out the one terabyte we saved a lot of money on that drive there and of course we've now put it into the graphics card and of course uh, we've changed the CPU to the more modern CPU and little changes like this uh, will make differences uh, in the system now this is a massively different PC compared to the one I built because this is a 2600 and RX 590 compared to uh, an RX 5700 and a 3600 these will uh, cream that other system uh, by a fair margin so and it's only for literally like I said um, probably about 80 odd dollars difference now if you're, what about if you're not a gamer and you want to build the same system and you're not a gamer and you just want L budget and you just want to be able to surf the web look at YouTube videos read some emails and stuff like that well the answer is you can still go with the 2600 go with the ASRock B450 motherboard which is a lot cheaper go with the team t-force Vulcans uh, memory which is cheap a data 240 gigabyte is probably gonna be enough if you're not doing a lot of storage and uh, you can also go with the GT 1030 which is ample for 1080p um, you know two gigabyte video card gone with a deep cool here and also gone with the thermal take 450 watt 80 plus bronze don't need anything more than that because the graphics card is not going to warrant it and of course the price will be reflected here four hundred and thirty dollars and sixty cents which is really really cheap now the difference between that and the first one is of course the drive and motherboard change here the CPU is the same and the graphics card there's no graphics so if you're not playing games you don't need to go out and spend all that money so you could go and do the same thing uh, and just change out the graphics card and make it cheaper for yourself so you can see the differences now these systems are all very similar apart from the 3600 of course uh, that's the newer architecture but looking at these three systems there's not much difference apart from the drives and uh, the memory you're not going to see much difference in memory uh, just pricing so if they're all 3200 they're not they're not going to make light years difference uh, in performance and the b450 it's pretty much the same sort of thing really you're not going to see massively difference between one board to the next it's just all about what you need on that board and again the same thing with the drives you're not going to see uh, a massive difference boot up times will be probably faster on that um, NVMe drive than the normal not by a lot the normal solid state drive here but the data transfer around moving stuff around and doing stuff like that opening up Photoshop if you was doing a bit of Photoshop and things it will be a little bit more faster and zippier whereas this will be a bit more sluggish and things like that of course gaming is a big difference as well depending on what sort of level gamer you are if you're much more into gaming and then you may want to go for the newer 3600 and then Ryzen uh, 3600 build with the RX 5700 so that's basically going to be about it so as you can see when people start commenting in the comment section about oh you could have done this you could have done that but of course these prices will change all the time and it all depends on your needs this is basically a non bling uh, system which is going to be ideal for aunt sally down the road who just wants to surf the web look at youtube and uh, you know do a few emails so that's basically what that's for and she's not going to want to spend any more than that and there's no much uh, it doesn't matter how much you try to convince them to change their mind they won't and that will be it now what can you make on this system that's probably another video in itself how much money can you make on this system well not a lot if that's what it is there this is why pre-built systems have sort of killed the market for budget systems when you build them now unless you can build it yourself for yourself then obviously that's going to benefit you but as a business if you want to build this for someone and make a profit on it it's going to be very very tough at that sort of price point because pre-built systems offer a lot more and they offer obviously you need windows and all that sort of other stuff um, got warranty and all that it's another um, topic in itself 
So without going off topic too much, that's basically how you can pick your parts, keeping in the same sort of architecture here, but chopping it out and changing stuff out to suit your needs. And uh, the pricing will be completely different on all of these systems, as you can see here. So that's basically how you do it. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. And I shall see you on Discord tonight for a little chit chat. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.